Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. Today is going to be a quick tutorial. I just wanted to talk about what the delta actually represents. Now, I believe that in trading it's important to be able to apply methods and um, do calculations and use tables and so on. But I also think that it's very important to um, be able to understand what they actually what the parameters you're working with, what they actually mean, what, what the essence uh, behind them is. And um, let's talk about the delta for a second. So the delta in the fixed ratio trading method actually um, represents the width of each one of your steps. And by width, I mean the number of trades that you have to conduct in order to get to the next checkpoint. Um, let's think about this for a second. Let's say that uh, your delta is a thousand dollars, and let's say you're up to the uh, stage where you're at. You're trading with two lots. So, in order uh, for you to proceed to the next uh, step, you have to add another two deltas on top of your current funds, which means two thousand um, dollars. And every one of your two lots, uh, so and because you're trading with two lots, you're earning. Uh, if we revert back to our previous examples you're actually earning $500 per trade. And that means that it'll take you four trades to earn those $2,000. Um, that, that's exactly why, uh, in the case of delta equals 1,000, your uh, step will take uh, four trades. It'll take you four trades to get to the next che checkpoint. If you hold all other things equal, but you just increase the delta and you make it $2,000, then because you're earning you're still earning $500 per trade um, within this step, it will take you twice as long to get to the next checkpoint. So in this case, it will take you eight trades, eight profitable trades, one after the other, to get to the next checkpoint. So in that way, Delta allows you to control how long you're going to be um, present at that particular step. The longer you are at a step, um, of course, the uh, slower your balance is going to grow. Well, if you think about it, you, you're not increasing your volume throughout that step, and therefore um, you kind of could have been earning more. Uh, but on the other hand, the longer you are within a step, the more um, conservative, or let's say, let's say less risky your trading is. Um, so if you're within that step for only one trade and then you jump onto the next volume and then again onto the next volume, that starts to resemble the Larry Williams method quite a lot, doesn't it? When you're just constantly increasing your volume. Um, but if you spread out your uh, steps or you make your steps wider, um, you're kind of allowing your system to stabilize within that um within uh, that volume and uh, you if you have a good variety of profitable and lost trades then they'll kind of even out and you'll get what uh, your um, mathematical expectation is from your system and then you'll move on so it's up to you as the trader to identify which delta works best for your system uh, you don't want to make it too big for, so you don't get stuck at that um, trading volume for too long but you also don't want to make it too small because you don't want to uh, just keep hopping onto a higher volume all the time until you hit a very uh, like a very big loss and which will eat eat a lot into your account you got to balance it out and um, once again it's up to you as a trader to decide what works best for your trading strategy and um, that's how the delta works in the fixed ratio method that's all for today. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.